Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani. Welcome to Study IQ. And in this uh, daily PIB analysis, uh, these videos in the, they come in the evening, the in the morning, uh, the Hindu paper analysis videos uh, they come. So this is uh, 10th of May, and important MCQs. As I told you in the morning lesson, that we will discuss many many questions right now. So uh, let's start these uh, questions, and please spread these lessons, and please share them with your friends, so that a maximum advantage all people can take here. 10th of May and these are the numbers here you can call and you can ask for these pendrive courses by study IQ and this is the website address where chat section is available all these courses are available at 60% off all our important courses and uh, uh, created by experts country which was not the part of group sale exercise in the morning session we also discussed about this issue I forgot to mention about this group sale exercise I told you about the international fleet review and I forgot about the group sale exercise that is going on from 3rd to 9th May actually it it is uh, completed now and uh, china is not the part here usa india japan and philippines these are the countries these four countries leaving china uh, aside these are taking part in this group sale exercise they took part actually in this exercise and all these uh, four countries they are anyhow countering china's influence and it was there in the south china sea so that that was much more important so this that is the controversial area in south china sea where china claims a lot and this uh, particular exercise these countries are taking part japan philippines us and india and we have sent ion ships like uh, kolkata and ion shakti as i told you kolkata is a missile destroyer and the replenishment ship is ion shakti replenishment means it is supporting the other uh, fleet ships uh, it is taking care about the fuel issue, the cargoes and all other uh, facilities. All these things are facilitated by this replenishment ship of Shakti. Remember that. And other important exercises are also going on at the same time. You see this Cameron Bay that is very very famous this year. They may ask you a geography question uh, regarding this Cameron Bay. It is on the coast of Vietnam. So uh, uh, this uh, INS Kolkata and INS uh, uh, Shakti. It was deployed here at the International Fleet Overseas uh, Deployment. It's an annual deployment. So first it was there in Cameron Bay, then Qingdao, China, then Busan, South Korea. And returning uh, from these places, the 70th anniversary P uh, of the PLA Navy, the Chinese Navy, the celebration was, that was going on. So India's ships, they took part in the International Fleet Review. And the occasion was 70th anniversary. So IFR where these two ships they took part and you see we also uh, conducted this ifr exercise in 2016 international fleet review so there they review all these uh, uh, defense equipments all these uh, uh, navy fleets ships and all and all kinds of uh, developments by different countries so uh, they actually uh, saw these uh, ships are taking part here next opening ceremony of the maritime security field training exercise under the ages of ADMM plus this was the phase one of ADMM plus there also our ships took part and the second phase is also going to start from 9th May to 12th of May so an important question is also uh, framed on ADMM plus uh, MS FTX exercise phase one that was conducted from 1st of May to 3rd May and which countries uh, took part here South Korea and uh, Navy of uh, Brunei China, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, South Korea and USA. So many countries in the ADMM plus exercise. Okay. It's maritime security. MS means maritime security ex exercise. So that is also important. Next protocols assigned between India and China on which agricultural commodities. Sometimes UPSC ask these kind of questions and regarding the agricultural uh, subject, these questions are always tough. And uh, on the in the PIB uh, data, this list is given with all these uh, important uh, commodities we have signed protocols so uh, i'm sorry i have not given the option here all would be the answer here okay you can write e as all so that would be answer because mango basmati rice and chili for all these things we have signed protocols there and uh, gacc the general administration of custom of china they held a meeting in new delhi to discuss trade related issues of pending Indian request for clearance of agricultural products. So it is regarding the chili meal from India to China that we export to China. So regarding mango, bitter guard, grapes, rapeseed meal, basmati rice, and basmati non basmati, both fish meal, tobacco leaves and chili meal. Regarding all of them, all these commodities, we have signed agreements here and the latest one is regarding chili meal. Next, recently, which country? Singapore passed a law 
विच क्रिमिनलाइज पब्लिकेशन ऑफ फेक न्यूज इन कंट्री सो नथिंग कैन बी मच मोर डेंजरस इन दिस वर्ल्ड टूडे देन द फेक न्यूज इट्स वे मोर डेंजरस देन द न्यूक्लियर एटम बॉम्ब बिकॉज इट स्प्रेड सो फास्ट एंड इट कैन टेक अप ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ मासज एंड दे ऑल कैन बी प्रोवोकेटेड टू एनी एक्सटेंट विद द फेक न्यूज एंड यू सी द हाइएस्ट लेवल ऑफ अथॉरिटीज पोजिशन बिल्डिंग पीपल ऑल आर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस फेक न्यूज स्प्रेडिंग वी हैव सीन मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स इन आर कंट्री एंड ऑल वर्ल्ड कंट्रीज दे आर फेसिंग दिस डायर इशू सो दिस लॉ अलाउज गवर्नमेंट टू ब्लॉक एंड ऑर्डर रिमूवल ऑफ सच कंटेंट दे मे बार्ज इन टू एनी प्राइवेट चैट ऑल्सो सो दैट्स रियली अ कंसर्न एंड दैट्स वाई अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोटेस्ट आर गोइंग ऑन अगेंस्ट दिस एंटी फेक न्यूज लॉ the protection from online falsehood and manipulation bill that is the name of this particular bill so singapore is the country which has brought up this new law you see very advanced countries are also struggling with this problem that what do they do about this because at one side there is a security issue at one side there is a issue of privacy so which we should prefer to act on we cannot leave security aside because uh, the fake news that can do anything and mostly the governments they are afraid of these fake news because there can be propagandas against these governments or there may be propagandas uh, in uh, the favor of government also so both sides it's a dangerous thing and regarding the security issue and enmity between the groups and uh, religious groups ethnic groups they can be initiated at uh, to the any uh, extent by these fake news so that's why it's very very dangerous Bengal tiger species is the most numerous of all the tiger sub species if we talk about the uh, the Siberian tiger the Java tiger uh, the Chinese tiger uh, Tibetan uh, ones so these are important species and the Bengal tiger it's the most numerous of all the tiger sub sub, sub species that's correct and India uh, and Bangladesh these both countries they hail it as the national animal of these countries and the uh, status in the IUCN red list is of the endangered not critically endangered so this is wrong and both these two are correct so one and three is the correct answer and the status is only dangerous predominantly found in uh, nepal bhutan bangladesh china and myanmar in 1973 when this uh, national tiger conservation authority that was established and uh, project tiger was launched so this was the first conservation effort from our side and it was just after the the uh, wildlife protection act that came in 72 so after one year this ntc was established so this was the first conservation authority established in india next endangered is the status not critically endangered world customs organization it was established in 1952 and in 1994 it got the name as a world uh, customs uh, organization started with customs cooperation and council so upsc may ask you this question and it is headquartered in brussels not prague this is wrong prague is the capital of czech republic and brussels is of belgium so second is wrong headquarters is not there in prague it is only intergovernmental governmental organization which exclusively focuses on custom matters that is a correct statement so these two are correct statements the second is wrong so one and three is the correct answer b is the correct answer you can see one important meeting in kochi kerala that is going on uh, regarding the asia pacific uh, regional uh, conference of this uh, world customs organization CBIC from India Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs You see it used to be Central Board of Excise and Customs but now it is Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs after the GST implementation so uh, they are taking part here and uh, Ministry of Finance is involved there important focus areas are trade facilitation measures building capacity of small island economies and cross border e-commerce transactions performance measurement trusted traders program and ongoing review of revised Kyoto convention so they may ask you a question regarding the kyoto convention also it's a, a different uh, thing it's not related to climate change it's related to customs and trade next international narcotics control board incb implements un's international drug control convention that is correct a recent news was regarding a member chosen from india and uh, she was actually re elected in this uh, uh, 13 member body incb narcotics control board and it is not directly related to, to related to un it's not any specialized agency though, so this is wrong but it surely implements the un's international drug control convention so first is the correct option a is the answer and uh, second is wrong, uh, second statement is wrong jagjit pawadia is is the lady who is uh, reelected to the incb's board for the five year term she uh, is uh, going through this uh, particular uh, tenure for for the five five years from 15 to 
so that is about to complete next year and after that she again would continue till 2025 okay INCB independent and quasi judicial monitoring body 13 member body and uh, these members they are elected by the ecosoc uh, council for the period of 5 years so that's important and 10 people out of these 13 they are nominated by the governments and three people are selected by who according to its uh, expertise areas pharmaceutical pharmacological and medical areas next temperate cyclones as i told you these are also called extra tropical cyclones and the mechanism i explained to you in previous lectures they have a low pressure gradient then uh, tropical cyclones gradient means the difference if high pressure and uh, low pressure it, ha it has much difference then the pressure gradient would be higher but it is not that much higher with the temperate cyclones it is higher with the tropical cyclones tropical cyclones are way dangerous so first is wrong they travel from east to west uh, that is also uh, sorry uh, this is correct this is correct because it is saying that it's it has a low pressure gradient so this is correct second statement 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 is wrong they travel from east to west no they travel from west to east because they are found uh, at the latitudes of 30 degree to 30 60 degree in both the hemispheres and these are the areas of westerlies and westerlies direction these uh, high pressure winds direction is west to east so Uh, their direction is also west to east because they are under influence of these westerlies generally produced in summers no there is no such law because uh, it, this condition is related to tropical cyclones not temperate cyclones they are normally created because of the uh, meeting of the different air masses cold air mass and uh, warm air mass when they meet then the area of depression is created area of low pressure is created and there these extra tropical cyclones are uh, created in the western countries they are these are called like uh, depressions and all okay so one only is the correct answer here you can uh, see extra tropical cyclones low pressure areas and uh, weather fronts are typical characteristic of them and in contrast with the tropical cyclones extra tropical cyclones produce rapid changes in temperature and dew point along the broad lines because at one side from the polar area the cold air mass is coming and uh, here is a mass of warm air mass so there is a great difference in the temperature and air pressure so uh, uh, there are rapid changes in the conditions so these are specific to the extra tropical cyclones because these are created by air masses now tropical cyclones what are the conducive uh, conditions large and continuous continuous supply of warm and moist air that is the typical characteristic because uh, a lot of evaporation so moist air and a lot of uh, heat so warm uh, air and uh, the continuous supply of it from the ground so that happens large value of coriolis force that actually gives direction to the tropical cyclone so these two are correct statements and third one is wrong because it is a characteristic of temperate cyclones inflow of air at the upper level of the atmosphere so this is a characteristic of extra tropical cyclones because there these uh, uh, air masses are interacting so some activity like inflow of the air uh, coverage by a different air mass so these kind of things happen there in the temperate cyclone or the extra tropical cyclones this is tropical cyclone so one and two is the correct answer a is the correct answer parker solar probe it is a nasa's robotic spacecraft perfectly correct they sent it in uh, august 2018 it will go farthest no it will go closest to the sun towards the sun it is gonna hit the corona layer and it wants to know about the sun its uh, composition and uh, the various details that we do not know till now because it's not possible till now to orbit the sun or to reach at the sun so it will go towards the sun for the first time and if we talk about india then india is going to send uh, in 2020 the aditya l1 uh, spacecraft and that will uh, study about the sun and its layers and uh, the specific details regarding that so india is going to send aditya one and this peter solar probe is by nasa it's a robotic spacecraft and they have launched it already you can see it's a artistic imagination but almost like the reality august 12 when they launched it and uh, parker solar probe and the speed is uh, 0.064% of the light speed light speed is too much 3 uh, into 10 to power 8 meter per second that's the speed of the light and this is uh, going to hit it with 430000 mil, uh, miles per hour so that's a very minuscule thing but we we do not know much till now sechels launches world's first sovereign blue bone 
we have uh, learned about uh, green bond we have we don't we know about the gold bond in india this is blue bond it is regarding the mary uh, uh, the marine ecosystem the fisheries and all these aquatic animals and all so it's a very specific one because the color of the ocean is blue so this is blue bond and seychelles is an island country and uh, located in the indian ocean and northeast to madagascar close to equator very important uh, and very beautiful scenic uh, island country very small one many granite islands are there many coral islands are there and maximum population is dependent on the ocean it is the biggest uh, uh, business there 17 percent people they are employed with the fishery sector and uh, 95 percent exports they are happening with the uh, fishes and all so they are gonna uh, support this sector by raising the sovereign blue bonds so world bank is also taking a very important part here and you can see the real picture of the Seychelles. The proceeds from the bond will include support for the expansion of marine protected areas, improved governance of priority fishery, fisheries and development of the Seychelles blue economy. Because it can be said as a true blue economy, totally dependent on the ocean. And these are also the countries uh, which are very much scared of the climate change issue. The uh, sea level is rising and you see the establishment. If the level rises, then what's going to happen? It's a really scary issue. Okay. Thanks a lot. Keep watching. And uh, this is all for today. And we'll meet again tomorrow. Thanks a lot.